Okay, here's my idea. We have a pump behind us. It's a line pump. This would be more for a boom pump, I'm thinking. We'll go over Let's go over the hopper lid here. We've got Mike Setner from Conforms. He's now famous after the live stream. And drinking again. Drinking again. You never, I don't think he ever stopped. And we've got Dan. Okay, so here's my idea. So I think Schwing, and Mike, you were singing in Japan, they have a red light, green light. When the pump is on... It's up, it's up here. Up here. So green light when the or pump is on. Or drivers can see it. Red light is pump off. Right. So I had this year or idea like 10 years ago and I was quickly shut down and told it was stupid. What if you had an LED bar with say 10 increments, 10 lights, and as they got higher up, they got progressively wider. And as you turn your volume up, the lights increased. You had a red light for stop and a yellow light for reverse. Because I find when I'm pumping, especially on the big booms, when I speed it up, the mixer drivers can't react fast enough. So what I'll normally do is I'll bump my RPM a little bit just so that they can audibly hear it and it, it lets them know something has changed and hopefully they're paying enough attention to do so. But what if you had a light bar and they could see when I speed the pump up, they can see I'm going faster. They can see when I'm stopped. They can see when I've kicked it into reverse. Thoughts? Uh, I see potential where that would be beneficial. I'm issue. thinking big pours on big booms because it's oh, a yeah. constant challenge no, you have when exactly, I change pump speed exactly keeping the, the hopper same, full. No, you have exactly the same problem on a little boom as a big boom. Yeah. It's just it's just the reaction of air coming through isn't as violent on a little boom. Yeah. But, but if you speed the pump up on a little boom, your hopper doesn't empty any faster than it No, does. I'm just thinking on the bigger boom, you're in situations where you're more subject to larger fluctuations yeah. in volume change. Yeah. Versus just pouring like residential walls. But I mean, right? I, I could see it in any, any pump. The thing is, you like have right, to have a It'd have to be protected, obviously, because it would get trashed inside the hopper lid. Well, or maybe it would be get... outside the hopper, I don't know. <laughs> no, you'd have to have it where everybody can see. Tie, tie the lights into the to the volume, the output to the volume control motor, so as yeah, the voltage the or amperage that, goes up. Trick, that would be the tricky part. I bet you for, for a smart electrical person it might not be, though. But do you think it would be effective? Mike, what do you think? The, the green light, red light, when I first saw, saw that on pumps from Japan and how it's mandatory, I thought was amazing because you know sometimes these guys hear the revs you know the engine rev up and they start dumping hopper and overflow the hopper yeah you know if they can look green light red light should be easy enough for mixture drivers sorry yeah i like drivers. that okay sorry mixture drivers uh i'm not sure about the speed control you know i think that's just another thing that's not going to work properly or go bad <laughs> it's and true. it's more lights and stuff that's just we all see all the We've seen everybody's back of the hopper and everything that gets wrecked by backing into it with a truck. Yeah. I, I think that's too much. I, mean, I, I get that. I think yeah. we learned green light, red light in elementary school. I think even mixture driver. It's a start. It's out. a start. But I, I just find on the big boom when I'm when I'm doing I mean, bigger pours, it's the fluctuations in volume, and they're always letting the hopper run down. But not can, always, but I often. Can, I can see that. I can see the benefits of it. I want to try. Can it. Also see, I can also see where it's not going to make a difference because. I've seen a lot of, and it's not just mixer drivers, but people aren't paying attention to that side of things. They're they're you're, they're used to a certain speed. They're not even looking any. They're, they're looking somewhere else. Yeah. They're not. So I mean, having a light there wouldn't. If they're not looking, a light's not going to make. It. I mean, exactly. I guess you could say if they were looking, they're going to notice the change anyhow, right? Yeah. But when you when you go from 70 meters an hour to 90 meters an hour. If they're not really paying attention or really watching that, you can be sucking air within five or six strokes. And then and then but they have I, to catch up and now my boom's bouncing because they've got air in it. Another difference you know, with that, if somebody's paying attention, if your vibrator's on, if your if your hopper is above your vibrator if, above your grate, yeah. it makes a totally different sound. Your grate makes a totally different sound than when hopper goes below the grate. So as soon as hopper goes below the concrete goes below the hopper, great. Yeah. It makes it your whole grate makes a different sound. Any driver who has any experience knows that sound right away and they speed it up before you ever agreed but I, I also think with the new the new drivers all the new drivers at least in our market experience is it's it's tough like you I agree you can if you're on it and you're really focused on paying attention it's not a problem I think right? green, green light red light is the easiest thing it's easy to train because there's so many people like you said too many too much turnover and and 
not only pump operators but mixer drivers yeah and they're they're a lot worse because there's a lot more of those guys that have to be in the seat of a mixer driver so if we can train train green light red light i think we're fine and who's got swing has that right now i believe it's an option it's an uh, option it's my story so anybody, does it too, in, do anybody in japan has to have it yeah i said i think it's mandatory on equipment in japan and it would be so easy to retrofit on a machine red light green light yeah super that, easy that'd be super easy so maybe, maybe we'll try a red light green light i think for placing boom would be really good too what do you think just, I think it, well, we were talking earlier off camera, but I think having it for the operator up top to be able to put a red light or green light. Yeah, in addition to the radio command of pump on, pump yeah. off, or one, two, or whatever one may use. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if I see the lights green, you know, and he's still pumping, he obviously didn't hear me, and I just need to keep repeating myself or, uh, yeah. or something until I see that light turn off. Right. Because every now and then you get caught on the ground, flat-footed, you're backing in a mixer truck, and he wants to shut off the pump, and he gets an extra stroke or two. I mean, it happens. So, so I think, to good consensus, red light, green light would be a win, a great thing to have on every pump. We can agree on that? Yeah. My, my system... My system might it's be a little, a little it's elaborate. A it's, it's a little elaborate. Idea. You're not sold on it. I'm not. I'm not 100 percent sold on it yet because it's new and I haven't fully thought about it to see what the downside. Sorry, on the red light, green light, or on the graduated bars for volume? Oh no, I Both. think I, I, I've thrown out your your bars. It's wow, I'm just kidding. I, I thought there'd be at least some some <laughs> no, I, a, a I, lukewarm reception to it at least. <laughs> I like I like the red light, green light. Yeah. I'm not. I still got to be convinced and think about the effect of a red light, green light on a regular everyday pumping job, how much, what the downsides would be. On I a regular see, everyday? I can, I can see the upsides. I don't think there would be any if it's tied well, that, into your pump on off switch. I can't think of any right now, yeah. but I haven't had time to think about it because potentially there's something that I haven't thought about yet that, oh, wait a minute. I don't, I don't see. I Other mean, than the cleanliness, keeping it clean so yeah. it's visible. Um, All right. If the guy's not paying attention to a light, it's not yeah. going to make a difference whether it turns red or green. I mean, there, there is things to think about. You know the best solution that's already out there? The horn. The guys that use the Telebelt horn. You cannot miss that. Have you heard that one? It's like a siren. Oh, is it? Oh, it is wild loud. <laughs> oh, yeah, or, yeah, yeah. Or, or the train yeah. horn. I've seen that one too. But, uh, <laughs> but even just a horn. Like, lots of guys don't use their horn to signal, like, hey, yep. something's changing. And then they complain, yeah. well, you overfill the hop. Or, like, I, I, I honk twice when I stop. I, I honk once I when I'm about it, to start. I rev it up and I beat my horn, you yep. know, and then start pumping when yep. I was pumping. And I'll honk and, twice and give, yeah. give it one then, or two more strokes before I stop. Right. I Exactly. And so. I don't think a lot of guys do that anymore. And, uh, and if you've got a well, half assed horn, I don't think you hear it. I think, I've been on pumps that you couldn't hear that. I think it's a two-way street. Like, I've been on jobs more recently where I got a pump into a pump and we're not tied into the deck pipe. And I'll give mixer drivers a bit of credit. If you're not really on the ball, <laughs> it's pretty easy to overfill a hopper. We always complain about it. But really, if you're not like 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 right on it or the guy's not honking the horn when he's supposed to, especially if they're pumping well, fast, it's difficult. If you don't have an air cup or something because it'll drain the last couple sections of boom in there. 100%. And then you're, and yes, then you're in 100%, right? So, okay, so that's the consensus. Red light, green light we think would be I great on everything okay we'll start with that and i'm gonna <laughs> i'm gonna befriend some sort of a uh, electrical engineer and one day on the channel graduated light bar uh, right i don't know about that and i'm 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 already that gonna like too much i'm work. already working on the patent don't don't listen to these guys don't you're don't not gonna think, you guys are not gonna i don't think tony will build it for you you guys are not gonna crush my dreams <laughs> tony okay won't build it, for it won't you. crush my dreams tony will build you the red light green light but he won't build you the green well we'll just we'll just get our foot in the door of the red light green light and then we'll just kind of we'll bam we'll work on we'll bam boozle him into the 30 step pump volume indicator so you know it goes okay good discussion you know it goes you know it goes keep on pumping just hear me out okay instead of the graduated bars just a number zero to ten volume goes up number goes up any better I know the technology any better exists, it's, no I, I would say that no? would be better that would be better than the than the than light bars the light. It'd, be, okay. it'd be less to break okay because because if you put your number on your volume to five yeah. and the number on the thing is five until you pump but, out your hopper gets blasted but, and, and one of the, the the wings of the of the, of the digital the display the burns is, out right the thing well is that's very deceiving because lots of times on a pump it's rpm between, based too be, it's rpm based but also like the the three to seven makes a very a bigger difference than the seven to ten hundred percent so, right so, yeah, it's true, but it just indicates to them something has changed. Yeah. Something's but changed, right? Again, they got to be paying attention. Yes. 
red light, green lights, less to pay attention to. It is. Keep it simple, stupid. Okay. And can we, can we wire in that the, the red light gives them a small electrical shock? I wish. Okay. <laughs> we'll, I we'll wish. look into that too. Okay. We're getting somewhere with this. Perfect.